APA does so many things to support the profession and its members. We're really the big tent organization for psychology in the United States and really the largest organization of psychologists in the world. We do things such as work in an advocacy arena on Capitol Hill to support policies that benefit the public but also help advance the, the science and profession of psychology. It was a great honor to serve as the 2009 president and we accomplished an incredible amount in very difficult and challenging times. Uh, the APA, like the rest of the world, was challenged financially because of the economic downturn. But we, in spite of that, we moved forward on our strategic plan. The integration of science and practice is fundamental to all of my efforts this year, including my presidential initiatives. In addition, I think that strategic partnerships and collaboration are very important for APA, both within psychology, within our different constituencies, and with other disciplines to advance common goals. It's been an exciting and productive year for APA, a year marked with milestone achievements that will help to shape and define the organization and the field for decades to come. APA is especially proud of its work on health care reform, helping more Americans get insurance coverage for mental health issues. A major accomplishment for APA in 2009 was our great work on health care reform. APA was at the table on Capitol Hill, heavily involved in discussions uh, that were shaping the, the health care reform legislation. The APA spent a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy in promoting psychology's part in health care reform. We were invited into key committees and we made many, many visits to the Hill to talk with our legislators. And without the strong, hard work of our staff and the many members who you know, contacted their individual members of Congress, we wouldn't have been successful. The APA led an alliance of over 150 organizations working to end health disparities and to have that included in the health reform bill. Our Office on Ethnic Minority Affairs also had produced a major news journal, their communique on health disparities that was delivered to every office in Congress. We feel that that also helped to inform Congress of health disparities across the range of disparities. And we're very happy that many of our priority areas were included in the legislation things such as a focus on integrative care, a focus on prevention, a focus on mental health parity where people with mental health disorders uh, wouldn't have the same challenges and pain for health care as people with non-mental health disorders. With an emphasis now moving forward on integrated health care where mental and behavioral health uh, treatment will be able to be provided in primary care health settings, it will allow for psychologists to move into those kinds of treatment settings and be able to work with patients right there in the context of their primary care physician's office. Health care reform wasn't APA's only milestone accomplishment in the policy arena. In February, APA released its report from the 2009 Presidential Task Force to end homelessness. So what we realized is that to help people uh, and end homelessness for forever, we need to provide uh, behavioral and psychological services to help people cope with these difficult times, to help them develop the skills that they need, and help them overcome the mental and behavioral health problems that have, have uh, gotten them to being homeless to begin with. Psychology is at the foundation of many other disciplines, and APA is building on these natural synergies, forming partnerships and collaborations with other organizations to move the field and the discipline forward. I think we are reaching out to partners now beyond what we did a generation or two ago. We are reaching out to partner as learning partners and project partners with psychologists and other disciplines around the globe. The technology is what allows us to do that now. APA is investing in technology and using technology and we will go on doing so with even newer projects on the horizon. One of the big issues for APA is asserting psychology's position as a STEM discipline, as one of the disciplines considered in the 
core of disciplines known as science and technology and engineering and mathematics. And we succeeded in getting Congress to recognize in its authorization of the National Science Foundation that psychology is an important part of the STEM disciplines and that's been a big victory for us this year. APA continues to shape the field of psychology through cutting-edge research published in its 60-plus journals and other publications. And over the past year, the association published a new updated edition of APA's authoritative style manual. The style manual is very important for the association. It is one of our signature uh, products. This is uh, something that really allows us to have visibility with, with the public but it is also a key tool in, in scientific research. APA is also on the forefront of educating the public about the role psychology plays in everyday issues. A key tool in this effort is APA's award-winning website. One of the things we like to do as a membership organization is be responsive to the views and opinions of our members. And Ever since I became CEO in 2003, one of the consistent themes was you really have to do something about your website. A few things I'm very proud of on, on the new website. The first is the, the, the thing that a visitor would initially see, and that's the look and feel of the site. It's, it's a very welcoming, very inviting uh, look and feel where the layout of the pages makes it easy to, to find information that a visitor uh, is looking for. Through our continuing education program, we have doubled the number of online educational opportunities for our members so that one doesn't have to come to convention although we have a number of excellent programs at convention we also have these online teaching opportunities for easy access over the past year APA also kicked off an educational program with the YMCA's of America to promote the connection between mind and body health and help to combat childhood obesity and this collaboration that we, and arrangement that we have with the Y will allow for psychologists across the country to be able to use the Y facilities in their communities as a forum to provide public education to the members of their community. APA now has a strategic plan in place, a blueprint for the future of the organization that will help to move APA and the field forward. 2009 was really a big year for accomplishments for APA and, and one of the things I'm most proud of is the approval of the first strategic plan in our 118 year history. This was a monumental task for the association where we really had to, to come together as one to agree on a, a, a finite, a limited set of highest priority areas and over the course of several years, we were able to come together as a community to agree on that. So I, I'm very proud of that accomplishment. Presidential initiatives are another way to bring the tools of psychology to members and the public. Dr. Goodhart's presidential initiatives include the Presidential Task Force on Advancing Practice and the Presidential Task Force on Caregiving. There is a huge unmet need in this country. Most of the caregiving is done by volunteer family members and it is under-recognized in this country. I think psychology has a great deal to offer to support those caregivers. They are creating a family caregiver's briefcase for psychologists, which presents in one place on APA's new technology platform, a web-based compendium of information on the psychological research, assessment, interventions, community programs, all to help psychologists recognize the needs of caregivers and intervene. My task force on advancing practice is working on two major new kinds of resources. The first one is a new framework for outcomes for those psychologists who work in healthcare settings that better captures the kinds of work that we do as psychologists. The task force is also creating PsychLink, the practice wiki, which is also a series of resources. Psychologists are changing the way they consume and use information, and with the information explosion, 
Our task force is committed to making sure that they have a way to cull and use what's best of the information out there. Within APA, we have scientists, practitioners, educators, and many people committed to the public interest. Therefore, I think one of the best ways to engage our members is to recognize the kind of grassroots advocacy, the strength and the voices of our many diverse kinds of members that carry our message to Capitol Hill, to the public, to the funders. We want legislators, funders, and the public to recognize psychology's contribution to health, productivity, well-being, and resilience in individual people, in couples, in families, in workplaces, and in communities. Serving members, shaping the field, defining the discipline, the American Psychological Association continues to advance the creation, communication, and application of psychological knowledge to benefit society and improve people's lives.